So before moving on to step two, uh, there's actually one more step to go. Uh, that is the GCP, uh, the ground control points. The reason that we need to do that is because our DJI drone does not have the RTK GPS. Um, so as a result, um, there is a one meter or two meters difference between the ground data and the UAV data. And this one or two meter uh, error uh, will cause bias uh, for agriculture application. So how to do the GCP control control points? So we go to the uh, this uh, logo here and just click on that. Uh, so I have I have preloaded the uh, uh, the coordinates here uh, for a new project. We simply go to import GCPs and go to browse and select. Uh, the predefined ground control points, which is this file. Okay. So when we load that file, uh, you can see there uh, we have eight ground control points. Um, uh, there is one more uh, ground control point. That's the station, and we would have to remove that one. Okay. Um, I'd like to note that. Uh, September 25 uh, and uh, September 5, uh, they are actually the same point as they are just measured on different days. So we can use either one of them. Uh, we can remove them here uh, by clicking the remove points. Or we can also remove uh, remove it from the, the type points, uh, which I will introduce later. So for now, just click OK, and uh, OK. So how to mark the ground control points? Okay. So on the left panel, the layer panel, we click on the ground control point that we, that we would like to mark on. And on the right hand side, uh, this are the points and the, the ground, uh, uh, the images will show up. So we just zoom to um, the center of the ground tarp and click on the center. Okay, so the first one will be marked manually, and so does the second one. But once you mark the second one, the third one will will be marked automatically. However, it might be wrong, so just go ahead. And also mark on the third one. So the general rule is to mark uh, in total 10 to 15 points. And uh, you do not want to mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, because they are just the same image, okay, just different bands like this one here 46 and 462 and 461 and 462, they are just this different bands of the image. So the rule of thumb is to collect around five uh, points, you know, that's uh, uh, for the same band. Okay. So for example, 4621 we mark, and then 464, 464 band one, we mark it. And then we'll go to the next one. This may be four, six, five, one, and we will mark it. So once we reach five um, images for band one, we should be okay. And also we will follow the band two for the same image. And then we click apply. So once we finish all these ground control points, uh, we can remove the, the September 25 from here. Then go to process, re-optimize. Uh, a warning will pop up, which means you will overwrite your results that you, you got from step one. This is fine because we want to update the results. So just click OK. 
you can see that re-optimizing a re a re-optimizing in progress. Um, just wait for like thirty minutes, and then we will update the report.